Okay. Let's head out. We got... We need a lot, honestly. We are hurting for supplies. I might go to the first area. The shallows. Because... We are running out of supplies. Although there might not really there, there really weren't that many great supplies in the 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 shallows, but I want to check out that safe. Some melee weapons can tap deca decapitate walkers. Cool. Hell yes. Oh, nope, nope. Didn't go in. Alright. Uh, map. Oh, there's, there's a second exit here? That's cool. E. You're the lady I helped out. I know you have food. Come on, hook me up. I'm desperate. Me? Do I have food? You want a soda? I'm not asking much. A few bites. That should help out a bit. Take this in exchange. Oh shit. Thank you. Oh Jesus. <laughs> I didn't expect her to fucking start booking it. Can you go in my shoulder? What the fuck? Whoa. Neato. We haven't seen any crawling zombies yet, so I'm probably about to run into one. <sighs> Alright. What did the bathroom have for us? Uh, sharp objects? We actually need that. I should have tracked the knife resources. Oh well, well. Oh, you know what? I haven't been on the first floor before. Uh, sorry, sir. All right. This goes in my backpack. You. My backpack. You are what I use to clear this place out.
Hmm. Well, at least I know how to, like, disarm these traps. What do we got here? Oh, I need that. Adhesives. For sure. Ah, there's the safe. I think it's 5606. Nice. Revolver crafting recipe. Sure. No. What? Don't just drop it. Fuck okay, it, I guess we know it. Ooh. Nice. Can you open up more? One millimeter. Uh. Oh, this is a recipe. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was an ammo box, and I'm like, why won't my ammo box go in? What is this? I mean, it's a pillow, but like, what is it? Bindings? What scrap, man? Ooh. Yeah. <sighs> Hey, how's it going? Have you been locked in here for a while? Oh, shit! Yeah! Yeah! Get out of here! Ugh. <sighs> Did not expect a second one like that. I don't think there's an open door either. There's just there's just a couple in here. Do I get anything out of this lighter? Shafts and adhesive? How much adhesive? Two? Yeah, that's solid. I'm sad this adhesive tape doesn't have adhesive in it. It's bindings, which are like probably still solid, but meh. Yeah, that's the good stuff. All right, how many slots do we have left? None, shit. That's everything, all right. Let's get out of here. That should be the way out. Or, well, that should be the way out towards my boat. Let's see. Whoops. Uh, no, actually. We gotta go that way. Ah, oh, thank God for this journal map. heard my knife hit the ground. Oh, that's broken. Ugh. Yeah, we've, uh, it's finally time for us to be making these purposely focused on scavenging runs. I need to get some upgrades going and need to get some fucking knives and shit crafted. Get me out of here.
guns are loud. Using them draws attention. I know. But sometimes... You gotta blast your way out of situations. Especially when dealing with other humans. No, he's chilling still. All right. I wish I could just do this. Ugh. Ugh. Everything come out. Don't do that. <laughs> Highlight it. Highlight it. I don't want to just shoot. Oh, shit. Hello? Where'd he go? Oh, here we go. There we go. Get rid of one of these. All right. Look, we got fucking 105 bindings. God damn. Oh, but we got shit off for nuts and bolts. We need to find a place for nuts and bolts. Because I need to. I want to start. Getting ammo. Oh, you can make her a uh, 45 revolver like that. Okay. Laminated bow upgrade. Ooh. It's probably really good. But I don't like it. Although I guess it would allow you to stealth kill enemies. Ooh, strength training. Sure. What is this? Comes out smooth as silk? Night shift. I wonder what that means. This gives us uh, melee combat cost 25 less stamina. That's nice. So in two upgrades, we'll be able to get deep pockets, which will be fucking fantastic. Do I have time to go somewhere else? I don't think so. I think you use up one day every time you go out. There's so much stuff here. Ooh, I need this. A uh, good quality knife. All 
And I should have two. But we'll be alright. We'll just assume I'm not going to use up all of my knifing in one go. Also, I still don't know what this does. Does this make me a new bat? What's my bat at currently? It's almost broken. Alright, we'll try this out just because I don't know what the fuck this is. Ooh. Okay. Nail bet. Well, all right. We're going to go ahead and put this here. Whoops. There we go. So that creates a whole new bat, which is... I was hoping to just upgrade my base... ...batages overall, but oh well. Hey, hey, what's up? I'm here, Casey. What's up? I've located another flow regulator. We needed to repair the second pump, and guess what? I woke up this morning with water up to my ankles, so that sucks. Time is slipping away from me faster than I expected. What area is the regulator in? I'll track it down. The regulator is in Bywater. Blue collar part of town. There are warehouses, auto repair shops, small homes shoved in where possible. There's a huge lumber yard there, too. From what I heard from tower radio chatter, a bunch of valuable machinery was discovered in a storeroom. No specifics, though. You're gonna have to poke around. Oh, and I looked into the key you mentioned. I hate to say it, but we need it. Only way to access the final pump station. So you should keep things cool with May for the time being. I'll be as cool as the other side of the pillow, Casey. <laughs> I believe it. And hey, I want you to know how much I appreciate what you're doing for me. It's nice to know someone has my back for once. <laughs> Beginning to believe I actually might survive this. There was a time when, uh... <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm trying to keep the dark thoughts out. You're welcome. Glad to help. Just hit me up when you've snagged the pump part from Bywater. I'll do my best to stay dry in the meantime. <laughs> I might try to elevate my cot a few feet so I don't wake up floating. Talk to you soon, tourist. Stay safe up there. Yeah, do what I can, man. Alright. Well... Bywater. I kind of wanted to go on, like, some supply runs because of... the fact that we're, we're kind of real low, but we got a knife, so, like, that's solid. We got a knife, we got a couple of guns, we got some bullets for the 9mm. So that's not bad. Although we're running out of hits on my judge, which isn't good. I could go... Hang on, let me pull on my drill. We can help out May. I get her intel from Tower Outpost and I keep any loot I can find there. Is that what it's supposed to be like? <laughs> Does that mean I'm allowed to just kill all the tower guys? Holy shit, we have 52 12 gauge shotgun shells. We're not going to use all those. Uh, 
All right. Well, the problem is I don't think I can go straight to Bywater without having go gone to Bastion of the Ward first. So I'm not sure. We'll we'll check out Bastion. Let's actually hear the the news first. Suspending the herd. Bastion. Meds discovered. Via Corolla. Advising scavenge operation. Rampart. Scavenge operation in Rampart. Something about the herd. I think she said Bastion. Can I can I get that news again? Repeat it. Repeat the news. We cannot be afraid to ignite our passions, even in the midst of the nightmare. No. It is precisely then when the nightmare's claws are digging into the thin flesh of our fading hope that <sighs> we must defy the nightmare and live. Truly live. And make no mistake, mere survival is not living. Scrounging for crumbs like a timid field mouse, begging some simpleton who bumbled her way into the role of heartless dictator for guidance, not me. I choose to embrace everything that makes me human. I choose to carve my own way through this new world. I am not a lowly animal. I should not be acting like one. Humor me for a moment while I recount an old bio legend. Many of you listening will no doubt recall the campfire tale of Charlie Boy, who met his end at the hands of the Sukiyong at the Bogachita Swamp. But a lesser-known Charlie Boy tale is what I will regale you with now. As a youth, Charlie Boy was not one to adhere to rules. In fact, you could say the young lad was a bit of a miscreant. Thieving, vandalizing, terrorizing. Mischief was in his blood. And mischief is what made the man. On a sweltering summer's eve, one of those Nola nights when the air was so thick and hot a dragonfly could barely get airborne. Charlie Boy set out from his home in the 17th Ward and skulked on over to the garden district with revenge thumping in his chest. His family had been wronged by some rich folk landlord types who were scheming to get Charlie Boy and his family evicted for no good reason at all. Now. Charlie Boy knew there wasn't much he could do being just a 12-year-old beanpole, but he was not about to sit idly by and let old money greed ruin his family without landing a counterpunch. So out of chicken wire, Charlie Boy molded a huge head and put an old Pulcinella mask on it, the nose stretching down to the chin. He painted the whole thing black as night. With the head on his shoulders, Charlie Boy stood a gangly seven feet tall. A messenger from the underworld. When he found the mansion of his oppressors, midnight about to strike, he slipped over the backyard wall and scanned the opulent hole for a bedroom window to tap upon and give the sleeper inside the fright of their life. Make them think death itself had come for them. no need. The patriarch himself was lounging outside, ten Sazeracs deep in his nightly drunken stupor, half asleep and unaware. Charlie Boy knew this was his moment. He crept up and stood unnaturally tall behind this slob of a man, reached out and grabbed a spotty patch of thin hair atop his head and yanked. The man's head snapped back, eyes wide with terror as he stared up into the looming face of death. And his heart just 
stopped. Whew. In an instant, a 12-year-old boy was transformed into a man of power. A man who understood what a glorious weapon fear could be. A man who would never again allow anyone to tread upon him without consequence. In an instant, a legend was born. Intriguing. Okay, we're gonna leave it back on 61 for our good friend Casey, just in case he tries to message us at some point. It's good to be on board with that. Uh, what do we need? I'd love more. I need nuts and bolts. I don't know where the hell to get them. I don't know the resource for it, but we're gonna check out. Rampart because they said they're doing a scavenging operation there and I want to check that out oh there you go it actually tells you oh cool oh there's no herd So that, I'm, I'm, I'm glad they add this here. I'll check out Bastion then. I want to see what it means by no herd. Does it just mean there's... Less zombies? Yee. Ah ha 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 ha. Ooh. Let's pull out my map. Eh? Ah, oh, well, there goes my hope of no zombies. <laughs> Okay. There are a couple buildings. There's one down that way. That's blue. We'll go check that out. What's up? Children, they're on the verge of starvation. Please, if you have any food to spare. Um no. I don't got I don't got any food, lady. If I find some, I'll let you have it. Goddamn diseased zombies. All right. I'm here to check out this building. Because it might have some supplies in it. I don't actually know how the supplies work in this game. enemies are weak. They lack conviction, lack purpose. They spread nothing but lies about us. That's all they can offer. A pile of bullshit. They have no vision for the future. They are hopeless swamp. All they want is to see us burn. And why is that? They envy our success. That's why. They know we are strong. They know we refuse to be swayed. They know we are united. And it drives that half-wit charlatan of theirs mad with envy. They don't understand loyalty or sacrifice. We do. Because we are guided by principle. And these principles have seen us through the worst horrors imaginable time and time again. 
We all know what kind of animals they are. We all know that they stand for nothing. They are empty, depraved psychopaths, every last one of them. They must be dealt with swiftly and without mercy before they can poison everything we have worked so hard to achieve. The tower will always stand. George. There we go. Anyone hearing that? No? Good. Oh, I thought I saw someone. We'll pull out my knife. Just in case.